Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So in this video, what we're going to focus on is how we graph linear functions, right? Now, note that the, the scale that we're going to use on our graph paper is one centimeter to one unit, right? And my graph paper is already drawn up. My Cartesian system is already drawn, all right? Um, note that the general form for a straight line is y equal mx plus c, right? Otherwise known as the slope intercept form, right? Where m here, m is what we call the slope or gradient, right? So M is the gradient, which is the slope, hold the line slope, and C is the y-intercept, right? The point at which um, the line will intersect the y-axis, right? So here we are asked to draw the graph y equal to x plus two. Here, as you can see, m in this case would be equal to two, which is the coefficient of the x term. So the gradient is two, and the y-intercept, which is c in this case, would be also two, which is this value here, all right? Now, in order to draw this line, y equal to x plus two, all we need is at least two points. But for safety, we are going to use three points just in case if we miscalculate one, we're able to pick up on our arrow. So all you need is a little table with X in one column and Y. Well, X in one row and Y in one row. All you need to do is to pick three random values for X. So we're going to pick three random values for X. Let's say I have zero here, right? And one of my value is one, right? And another of my value is negative one, right? So those are the three values that I'm working with. All I need to do is to determine the corresponding Y values. How do I determine the corresponding y values? I determine the corresponding y values by doing a little bit of substitution, by substituting each x value into the original equation. So all we're going to do, we're going to say when x equal negative one, what is the corresponding y value? That's what we want to know. So we're going to substitute this x value into the original, equation, so it's going to be y equal two times x. When instead of putting back x, we know what x is, x is negative one. So we're going to replace x with negative one, close our bracket and put back our plus two. All you need to do is to simplify this and you know what y is. So two times negative one, that's going to give us negative two plus two and negative two plus two, that's just going to give us zero. So what we're saying here, when X is equal to negative one, Y is going to equal to zero, all right? Now we need to do the same thing for this point. So when X is equal to zero, then what is the corresponding Y value? I'm going to use the same equation, so it's going to be Y is equal to times x instead of putting x we know that x is zero so we're going to replace x with zero put back our plus two then simplify so two times zero is going to be zero plus two and zero plus two is just two so we are seeing that when x is zero the corresponding y value is going to be two then we need to work it out for this one. when x is one so we say when x equal one, what is the corresponding y value? So 
it's going to be y equal to 2 times x, but x is 1, so replace x with 1, plus 2. So work out that. So 2 times 1 is just 2 plus 2, and 2 plus 2 will give us 4. So we are seeing that when x is 1, the corresponding y value is going to be 4. All you need to do now from the table, you're going to write these, these points in the form x comma y, right? So we're going to write them in the form x comma y as point. And we normally call this ordered pair. So the first ordered pair would be negative one comma zero. Second ordered pair would be zero comma two. And the third ordered pair would be one comma four. So these are three points on the line y equal to x plus two. So all we need to do now is to plot these points and our graph Cartesian system and use a ruler to connect the three points to draw a straight line and we're finished. So remember that um, a negative X component suggests movements to the left, right? Positive X component suggests movements to the right Negative y component such as um, vertical movement down and positive y component such as vertical movement up. Right? And remember that the x component is always horizontal movement. All right. So every point that we plot is relative to the origin, meaning that we're going to start at the origin. So the first point here is negative one, zero. So we go to the origin at zero, zero. And because it's negative, it is saying that we should make one movement to the left. So we're going to move from here, go one unit to the left and zero unit on the Y. Therefore, that point is going to be on the X axis right here, where the horizontal and vertical line intersect each other. To plot the second one, it's going to be zero movement. So we we'll go back to the origin and it's going to be zero movement on the X and two units on the Y. So just remember that that's positive. So we're going up two. So it's going to be one, two, which is going to be right here on the Y axis. So that's two point. So the third one is one, four. Both components are positive. So just going to the right and then up. So from the origin, we're going to go one unit to the right and then four up, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, where the vertical and horizontal line intersect each other, that's where we place the point. So that's how you would plot your three points there. All you would need to do now is to take your ruler to line it up against the three points and you're going to draw a straight line as long as possible, All right? And there's my straight line, which is y equal 2x plus two, but I will just adjust this straight line a little bit. So, um, let me just adjust it like that. All right. So that's it now. So there is the line Y. Let's label it. So there is the line. There's the line Y equal 2X plus 2. So that's it. And that's how you graph a straight line. All right. And note here on the y-axis where the line intersect the y-axis is at two. And we did identify that the y-intercept is going to be two. All right. So that's that point right here. Thank you for watching and do enjoy the rest of your day.